What a great day I had. Riding the queue line, stopping at Shields for some Detroit-style pizza, and visiting the Detroit Historical Museum, one of my favorite spots to visit in Detroit. So let's not waste any time and hop on board. I got on the queue line just south of Mac and started heading north. And I'll point out some of the streets and buildings as we head up. Detroit's Orchestra Hall opened in 2019 and was restored in 1989 as listed in the National Registry of Historic Places. The Music Education Center offers civic youth ensembles from the DSO. The Garden Theater opened in 1912 and is now an event and planning center. The Hopcat is one of my faves. Large beer selection, good food, and their famous cosmic fries. The David Whitney Jr. Mega Mansion was completed in 1894 and turned into a restaurant in 1986 after restorations. These are condos just off the campus of Wayne State University. The Detroit Artist Market is a nonprofit gallery committed to contemporary art. The Leonard N. Simmons Building was constructed in 1913 and designed by Albert Kahn for B.F. Goodrich Rubber. It was long known as the Goodrich Building before it was renovated by Wayne State University and renamed in 1994. Now arriving, Lauren, brought to you, Wayne State University, please exit the room. Warren Avenue, this is our stop. Getting off here. Hey, thanks for the ride. The Maccabees Building opened in 1927 and was designed by Albert Kahn. And it was listed on the National Register of Historic Places in 1983. It's currently owned by Wayne State University and is used for its administration offices. The only Shield Pizza in the city of Detroit is here in the Maccabees Building. But the history of Detroit-style pizza goes way back. Buddy's originally introduced Detroit-style pizza in 1946 when they used an old Sicilian-style pizza recipe and baked the pizza in a blue steel parts pan. It was used by Detroit's automotive manufacturers, and as a result, the Detroit-style pizza was born. Buddy's restaurant was supposed to be passed over to their longtime head chef, Louis Tortuas, but it was sold to someone else. So Louis went to Shields Bar on Davison and Shields Road and started making pizzas for them, starting the Detroit Pizza Wars. This Shields has some great memorabilia on its walls, almost like a museum. I really enjoyed checking this out. All right, time for a taste. And after a delicious lunch, it's time to walk up the street and check out the Detroit Historical Museum. This has been one of my favorites for many years, and I've been coming back over and over. There are so many great exhibits here, and they're adding new ones all the time. But every time I come back, I have to go to my favorites, and that's the Gallery of Culture. I also love the Motor City Music Exhibit. And I can't go here without stopping to see the Glancy Trains 
and the streets of old Detroit. So let's check out the rest of the museum. Time to head back, and this time we're going to be heading south on the Q line, and we'll look to the east side of Woodward. The Detroit Institute of Arts is a world-renowned art museum. It was founded in 1885, but this building here was opened in 1927. The Cathedral Church of St. Paul was built in 1907 to 1908 and is listed on the National Registry of Historic Places. The first congressional church was built in 1891 and an addition was put on in 1921 that was designed by Albert Kahn and it too is on the National List of Historic Places. The Museum of Contemporary Art Detroit started in 2006, and the building is a former auto dealership that was designed by Albert Kahn. There's a northbound Q-Line streetcar across the street. The Q-Line opened in 2017 and rides along a 3.3 mile track up and down Woodward. The beautiful Art Deco style Majestic Theater was built in 1915 and it was restored in 1984 and 2018 and it too is on the National Register of Historic Places. The Plaza Apartment Building is a complete restoration of the iconic Hammer and Nail Building. It was constructed in 1965 and it was originally intended as a tribute to the local Carpenters Union. The original hammer and nail sign that was on the building is now displayed in the hammer and nail bar on the first floor. Just beyond Mac Avenue here is the site of a future AC hotel. This is the Bonestell Theater. It was built in 1902, designed by Albert Kahn and Howard Crane. And it saw its last play back in 2019. Right next door is the Kahn Print Shop, which was built in 2019 and designed by Albert Kahn. It sat vacant for many years before being restored and is now the Michigan State University Detroit. 
Bakersfield Tacos is in the old Crystal Ballroom building, which was built in 1919. It had the facade updated in the mid-30s to give it that Art Deco look. And in 2005, it was restored to include retail and residential units. Just down Watson Street here is a pub called Second Best. It looks pretty cool. I haven't checked it out yet, but I sure would like to. The Fine Arts Theater, opened in 1914, was designed by C. Howard Crane. Unfortunately, it has been closed since the mid-1980s. This is the former First Presbyterian Church, which was built in 1889 and is on the National Register of Historic Places. These Brush Park condos were built sometime in the 1990s and began a comeback for the Brush Park neighborhood that had been abandoned by the 1960s. Alright, we're going to get off here in Montcalm, across from Comerica Park. Hey, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. See you next time.